beautiful people welcome to susan in family cooking tv from susan in family tv so how are you all doing hope you are doing great as for me and my daughter we are doing super 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 great by his grace amen of our power amen and we wish the same for you out there amen beautiful people welcome to another educative inspiring entertaining interesting video from susan and family cooking tv so today beautiful people welcome to our marriage counseling class part three so beautiful amazing subscriber our fans out there if it's your first time of passing by our channel my daughter and me we say we appreciate you for stopping by our channel to all our fans to all our subscribers who has been following us my daughter and me we do appreciate you so beautiful to people if it's the first uh the first video you have seen about marriage counseling so this is not our first video we are doing about marriage counseling we already did in two videos already we have part one of marriage counseling class we have part two already and today by his grace we are doing marriage counseling class part three so beautiful amazing people are there i hope that from the beginning of this video to the end i hope you learned something and if you do please don't forget to subscribe to our channel subscription is free and please when you subscribe don't forget to press the notification bell so that anytime we upload amazing videos you will be the first to be notified and you know by his grace my daughter and me we do our best to bring to you entertaining interesting inspiring educative videos so beautiful people without wasting time our today's topic feel free had your opinion, had what you think about what we are going to talk about, as you will be learning from me, I will also hope to learn from you. So today's topic says, marriage counseling patery, inspiring educative video. And our topic today says, can couples who don't love each other find love in, in their marriage? Can couples who don't can couples who don't love each other find love in their marriage? So that is what we are going to be talking about today. Can couples who don't love each other find love in their marriage? Uh -huh. So it can be that uh, all the, this marriage counseling we are doing, it can be that there are some marriages, there are some couples out there who is like before they before they uh, before they said I do to their partner, before they said the wedding vows to their partner, it's like one of the couple was not like already in love with the other partner. So that is what we are going to be talking about today. So today's topic says, can couples who don't love each other find love in their marriage? So I went ahead and said, can couples who don't love each other find love in their marriage? So I went ahead and wrote, yes, if one of the couple love the other, that is true. The only way couples who don't love each other who got married the only way they can find love in their marriage is only when one of the couples love the other it can be that before couples got married husband and wife it can be that the husband love the wife but the wife don't love her husband it can be that the wife love her husband and the husband don't love his wife so if maybe along the line these two couples they finally get married to each other if one of them love it love the other partner so it's going to work out that they will find love in that marriage if maybe the man loves his wife and the woman don't love so they find they got married so because the man love his woman so the man if and the man is going to try to like do everything it can for the his woman his wife to be able to love him so likewise if maybe uh, a marriage that couples find themselves getting married together one didn't love the other if maybe it was the woman who loved and loved her husband and her husband don't love her you know so it's going to be the wife duty if really what she needs what she's praying for she finds in the husband so it's going to be the wife duty for her to do all her best for her to do all she can you know for her husband to love her for the marriage to work perfectly for them so again says can couples who don't love each other finds love in their marriage so i said yes they can find love in their marriage if only one of the couple love the other but in the situation that the both couples don't love themselves and they didn't know and they just like coincident 
they, they got into marriage. It's just like maybe one wanted to deceive the other one. Maybe one was like, mm, I, I, yeah, maybe the woman said, oh, she don't love this man so much, but because mm, she wants to get married, she wants to be settled down, let her just like force herself into the marriage. Maybe along the line, she can love the man. And not knowing she can feel that maybe the man loved her, you know? So not knowing, and also in the man's heart, the man is like, oh, I don't really love this woman, but is uh, the, the his age is going. Let him just like force himself into this marriage. Maybe that the marriage is going to work out. So along the line, these two couples, they didn't know in their hearts, they didn't know what the other one is thinking about. That is what the other one has in his or her mind. So when these two both couples who don't love themselves come together and get married and the both of them don't love themselves, so it's going to be like cats and rats staying in the same house, you know, and you know cats and rats, they don't like themselves. They cannot they cannot understand themselves for one minute. They cannot like be together for one minute, you know. So it's going to be very, 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 very difficult for them to find love in that marriage. But if maybe one of the Couples who got married love the other partner, so it's going to be easy, you know, because that partner who love is our partner is going to do is our best for our partner to love him or her back and hand. So two says a woman who her in-laws don't love her or accept her. Can her in-laws love or accept her? Uh -huh. So beautiful people, before we are going to go on this part too, just like uh, on the second one, just the way we talk about the first one. So amazing moms like me out there, if you are married, I'm a single mom, so you are, when you are finding our channel, you will know. So to our new fans who are just like seeing our video for the first time, maybe they don't know. So I'm an amazing single mom with an amazing, wonderful daughter with good health and long life. God of my task for my name for my daughter and me. So to all moms like me out there, be single mom, married moms out there. So what do you think? A woman who her in-laws don't love her or accept her, can her in-laws love her or accept her? So what do you think? So to me, I said yes. It depends on a husband. A woman who her in-laws don't love her, a woman who her, who her in-laws don't, don't accept her, uh, will they accept or love her later? So to me, I believe yes. In the sense, I say it depends on a husband. Why it depends on a husband? Because why? The hus your husband is their son, you know. So is what your husband tells his family, his parents, his brothers and sisters, you know, his siblings, his whole family about you. That is what they are going to stand on. Even when like some families, uh, uh, they see like even like some home that uh, the woman think that her husband family, they love her. And her husband is already complaining to his family that this woman is mis like maybe mis mistreating him, you know. You don't like the way this woman treats him, you know. So the family of this man already like have like uh, something and they already like have... They already like have little annoyance in them towards you already. But when they see you, they will just smile and greet you, you know. So that is a sign. So for a family that this woman already know that her husband family, they don't love her. Husband parents, they don't love her. They don't accept her. The siblings, the sisters, you know, family, they don't want her. They don't like her. So can they like can they like like her later? So it's only going to depend on your husband. It's only your husband that is going to be able to bring them, to bring your mother-in-law, your mother-in-law, your, your uh, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, family of your husband. It's only your husband that can bring them to love you. In the sense, bringing them to love you is only what comes out of your husband's mouth when he's talking about you to his parents, to his siblings, to his family. That is what is going to like attract them. Oh, my wife is amazing mom. Dad, just give her a chance. Mom, give her a chance. Siblings, you know, give her a chance. This woman is not what you people think she is, you know. So they have been living together for a long time now. They have kids together. Just try to accept, you know, his wife, you know. So the kind of sweet ways that will be coming out from your husband's mouth, that is when your husband, the parents, the siblings, the family will feel like, okay, after all, since how many years do you know they reject, they didn't accept her, but their son is still hooked with her, they are still married and they have kids, so they have no choice than to accept their daughter-in-law and love her just the way the son have told him that she is an amazing wife. So Tori says, is it good for couples to involve family and friends when they have misunderstanding? So this is marriage counseling part three. So is it good for couples to involve 
family and friends when they have misunderstanding. So I went ahead and said, I went ahead and wrote, couples can evolve their parents when they know their misunderstanding is out of hand. That is true. Before couples can like start calling their parents to come into their misunderstanding, it's like maybe the misunderstanding is out of hand of the husband and wife. They cannot like the husband and wife, they cannot like handle the misunderstanding and the quarrel between the both couples. They cannot that they cannot like uh, handle it by themselves. That is only when it's advisable that you can bring in your parents to like come in and to like you know talk to the both couples so that they can have like understanding in their marriage. So I also went ahead and wrote parents and uh, couples can evolve their parents when they know their misunderstanding is out of hand. And I also went ahead and wrote, but it's not, uh, it's not advisable for couples to involve their friends when they have misunderstanding. That is true. No matter the misunderstanding you have with your wife, no matter the misunderstanding you have with your husband, it's not advisable for couples to involve their friends in their, mis in their misunderstanding. But it's advisable when couples see that their misunderstanding is getting out of hand when couples see they cannot like um they cannot handle their misunderstanding uh, misunderstanding in their marriage or in their relationship they can like involve their parents you know but for like because uh, you have misunderstanding in your home in your marriage you know in your relationship you want to involve friends so to me i believe it's not advisable for you to involve your friends when you have misunderstanding in your relationship or in your marriage so i also went ahead and wrote four because some couples are separated because of what their friends told them when they had misunderstanding, misunderstanding. Some couples are divorced because improper advice they got from their friends. That is why there are some relationships that are like would have led to a solid marriage, you know, that the couples will have, you know, happiness in their homes with the kids, you know, but that relationship was like cut off. That relationship ended because of why. Because of uh, maybe little misunderstanding when they were in a relationship, they talked to a friend and they talked to the wrong friend. They talked to the wrong person. Instead of that friend to give them advice that will lead them into, you know, into building their relationship, into marriage, because maybe the, the friend is like maybe jealous of one of them. Maybe the friend is don't have a good wife or a good uh, a woman to like call up that, oh, this is going to be my future wife. And this friend already have a woman that is like, you know, you know, that is already a wife material. So the friends, some friends, not only women are jealous, some men are jealous. The friend can be just be jealous. Maybe they have a li little misunderstanding. When he talk to his friend, friend will say, well, Lara, Lara, Gerard, you are going to get so many fishes, you know, everywhere. There are a lot of women everywhere, you know, so you are going to get another one. And if the man is not a wise man, wise man, that is how he's going to end his relationship with this destined wife that God has brought to him. So likewise, women also, there are some women also in relationship that cannot like, they are not so fast, smart as their friends. Maybe they have a little misunderstanding with their man. And before you know it in their relationship, they speak to only just a friend and the friend they spoke with, maybe it was you know, the wrong friend, the friend will say, what are you using that matter? Is it, did he even have a, his own house? Is he even rich? So mm, please forget him. You are going to get a richer guy. Before you know it, she will end the relationship. At the end of it, the books, couples who are in relationship, they will be regretting. So that is why I said, because some couples are separated because of what their friends told them when they had misunderstanding. So couples are, some couples are divorced because of improper advice they got from their friends. That is why, that is true. Also some couples today, they are divorced. Not maybe because of, they want to divorce. Not maybe because something very big really happened to that lead, that led to that divorce. But because of why they were having misunderstanding in their home. Instead of them to like, figure it out the husband and wife for them to be able to like you know settle it themselves they decide to like carry the misunderstanding to a friend and before you know maybe the friend is jealous of this amazing couples maybe the friend is jealous of their home maybe the friend is jealous they have beautiful educative kids maybe the friend is jealous of, of wanting about this marriage you know before they know it their friend will give them improper advice that would lead to their divorce. So that is why I say to me, because some couples are separated because of what friends tell them. So that is why I said, when you have misunderstanding in your relationship, it's better to talk it out with your man, better to talk it out with your woman and settle it and understand yourself. When you are married, when you see that the misunderstanding, you cannot like handle it anymore. You can call your, your 
family, you can call your parents to talk into your mind so that you can settle the misunderstanding you know between yourself instead of carrying it out to friends to cut your relationship with your man or with your woman or to get you into divorce. So five says, can couples talk to kids when they have misunderstanding? So what do you think? Is it uh, advisable for we moms to talk to kids when we have misunderstanding in relationships? So I said, can couples talk to kids when they have misunderstanding? Yes, I said yes for me. I said yes. For example, when I'm married, because I'm a single mom, I'm just saying, can couples talk to kids when when they are married? So I said for me, yes. For example, I'm giving example. I say, for example, when I'm married. I have a little misunderstanding with my husband. I can talk to my daughter about it instead of talking to, instead of, <laughs> uh -huh. instead of talking to friends, can, instead of talking to friends, my daughter can advise me for me to try to understand my husband. That is why, because as our kids are growing, that is why, that is how our kids are like, you know, more socialized and more like uh, filled with more wisdom, you know. So instead of me to like, I'm married tomorrow, I pray, I don't have misunderstanding. There is no home, there is no misunderstanding. Also with our kids, me and my daughter, we can have misunderstanding in one second. Now, the next seconds, my daughter and me, we're already like, you know, together because we understand ourselves, the love of mom and daughter bound of love of God has bind my daughter and me together that when we quarrel now, we settle it immediately. So that is our husband and wife also. They have, you know, there is no home without misunderstanding. There is no husband, husband and wife that will come out and say that, oh, in their home is every year so peaceful. There is no a single day that they have misunderstanding. So no one would believe that. So instead of us to take our misunderstanding outside. When I'm married, instead of me to take my misunderstanding outside, maybe I have a little misunderstanding with my husband. I would prefer to talk to my daughter. Oh, mommy, see what uh, see what uh, your dad, you know, dad, his stepfather did, you know. Maybe my, my, God can use my daughter and say, mama, ah, not everything you have to knock, not everything you have to quarrel with, with uh, dad about, not everything you have to like, you know, try to uh, understand Try to understand that, and you see that is a very simple man, you know. So, like that, I'll take that advice instead of me to go and speak to a friend who will like, hmm, after, after all, they were thinking that this woman she's not going to get and uh, she's not going to get husband. And now, God has blessed her with an amazing husband who is a very wonderful, responsible father to her daughter. Uh -huh. Now they have misunderstanding. Let me give her a bad advice to you know, tell her to leave the man, another man will come again. So, instead of me to go. And talk to a friend that will give me advice, a bad advice, when I know how many years it took me to pray before God bring to me a responsible, amazing husband who will be a responsible father to my daughter. So it's better for me to talk to my daughter about it. So I also went ahead and wrote, she says, as, uh, as our kids are growing, it's better for us to talk to our kids about what is happening in our home than taking it outside. That is that is true. As our kids are growing, only babies, they cannot understand. But babies, they can see when father and mama, they are like having little misunderstanding, little quarrel. Babies can just be looking like this. Oh, what is happening in the mind? They cannot interfere. They can't do nothing. Toddlers also, they can just be like, oh, what is happening? It's like papa and mama is like they don't it's like they're having little quarry they will know that but as our kids are growing you know growing into into a uh, from a uh, toddler from primary school like secondary school my daughter is in secondary school she's a teenager so she she's growing every day so she begin to understand all those things that oh there's also a misunderstanding after all she and her mama they also have little quarry and they said to so a mom and a husband and stepdaddy when they have misunderstanding this can also settle so that is why it is preferable for us when we have misunderstanding we don't want to like involve family our kids are with us we can talk to our kids about it when we know that our kids are already like from secondary school they can understand us instead of taking a it's outside for you not to get the wrong advice so seven says how to avoid a misleading friend Example, there are some friends who mislead their friends in marriage. And if you are not a smart person, you will fall for them before you know you are out of your marriage. That is true. How to avoid a misleading friend. In all marriages, some things that are like leading to and uh, uh, to divorce in marriage, sometimes it's just little, very, very little, tiny, tiny thing like this, just like the tip of this pen, just very little. And those like those little misunderstanding. 
it's just like something that cannot even lead to even like quarreling for five minutes you know there are some homes you quarrel five minutes like me and my daughter will quarrel in one second the next second you know we're already laughing kick, 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 kick. you know when people hear say oh, look at daughter and mama that just quarreled now so that is how husband and wife home supposed to be you know that is how peace can reign that is how angels can dwell dwell with us and dwell with our children be with us and our children in our homes, a home that is always correct, correct, correct. When the angels are coming to bless that home, when they see that, oh, the noise is too much here, here is too much correct, and the angels will go back and say, no, they are not ready for this. When the home is at peace, they will come in and bless. So that is always why it's good that anytime, at the time, I mean, we have misunderstanding. No, 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 at the time, yes, we are quarreling. The angels of God is already oh, speaking. She's your daughter, no matter what she do, you know, forgive her, you know. Likewise, before these seconds we quarrel now, the next seconds, me and my daughter, we're already laughing again. So that is how it's supposed to be. So also couples who are married, who are not like a smart couple, there are like some family, there are some friends, there are some home that a man would like have it. A friend, let's give example. Why I said that uh, when you um, how, uh, how to avoid a misleading friend, there are some friends who mislead their friends in marriage. And if you are not a smart person, you will fall for them before you know it, you are out of your marriage. So I will give example. This is not, it's every day, it's reality of life, it's lessons of life, it's what is happening every day. There are some men out there, as I said, there are some men who are jealous more than women. There are some men who are like jealous of a couple who are married who like they understand themselves. Anytime the man goes to that couple's house, the marriage, they are always laughing. They cook together, they clean together, they iron together, they do everything together and also everything for the kids. So it can be that his friend is jealous. So maybe a day we just go to, to their house. I always say this in our China. And when he goes there, he see that this amazing man is helping his wife in the kitchen. So when he gets there, he sit down, maybe even after eating their food, he say, oh, he wants to go he greet the wife and say, please, my friend, can he escort him once they step out of their house? The house that ate their food. The next thing we start saying to his friend, what are you doing? So do you mean you are helping your wife cooking in the kitchen? And the friend will say, of course, I have been doing that even when we're in a relationship up to the marriage. I need to help my wife. Only she cannot do everything for the home, for, her, for the kids, for her kids, for, for herself and for me, the husband, you know. That is how he will get a bad advice. And the friend will say, hmm, don't ever try that anymore. Women are meant to clean, to cook, to do everything for the home, for the kids, for themselves, for the husband. You are just to go to work and come back and cross your leg. Give, she will give you the food. And after you eat the food, she needs to also say thank you to you for giving, you know, for eating her food. And if the man is not a wise man, we say, are you sure? So is this how you say yes? That is how he's treating his wife. Anytime the food is ready, the wife will bring the food to him. And after he has eaten his wife's food, so his wife will be the one to tell him thank you for eating her food. So trust start to matrix your wife that way. That is the only way your wife can respect you. So if this man is not a wise, smart husband, immediately enters the house before the wife knows it. Little thing we start nagging. A man will start nagging. Any little thing. A husband that was always like in the kitchen when they are cooking will help the wife. When it's cleaning time, he will do this. If it's ironing, oh, only we are going out. The husband is like, I will be the one to iron the kids' clothes. Okay, today I will close on time. I'll bring the kids from the from the school. He will put everything on the woman for the woman to be doing. And before they know it, maybe the woman, after all, she was not used to it like that. They started doing things together. Then the woman find it that they work in the home for a kids for her for you know it's too much before you know it they will go for divorce so that is why i said it is better there are some marriages that are like couples that are like divorced today because of why mis misleading friend the uh, misleading friend you know that they got so but if you are able to like avoid all this misleading friend your marriage will work perfectly like for you so there are also like some women not only in the men side there are some women who like envy husband and wife, who envy, husband and wife, who envy their home, who envy, even their kids, up to kids. There are some women who are jealous of kids, you know, so not everyone you call your friend. There are some people who will give you a, a wrong advice about your kids, you know, and they want their own kids to be. There are some friends who will tell you, oh, when your, your, when your, kid, uh, when your kid is up to 18 years, let her be pregnant for any boy, you know, uh, after all, 18 years can get pregnant, and of which this kind of a friend She's praying for her kids to finish the university. 
before they get pregnant. So that is why we more need to be prayerful for our daughters. We need to be prayerful for our kids and we need to be careful. The kind of friends we associate ourselves with. There are some friends also who knows that uh, a friend and child is very intelligent, you know. The the child, you know, uh, a friend child is very intelligent. Maybe a long talking, the friend was like, oh, my daughter wants to be a doctor, you know. Instead of the friend to advise, oh, I pray that your daughter will be able, you know, I pray that God give her the wisdom so that she can become the doctor that she hope she wants to study to become. You will see the friend saying, ha, what? <laughs> daughter, hey, is that not too difficult for her? No, let her not do doctor. Let her go and do all the same washing and bonbon of the old people. Let her go to any places of maybe uh, uh, cleaning old people. It's a child who the mama is saying to you that she wants to be a doctor. She wants to read medicine, you know, to become a medical doctor. Then you begin to tell the mom, no, is ah, that is too much. How can she just, you know, take her time to be doing study? Let her just study to, even if it's class six, let her study to class six in secondary school and then let her go and be cleaning all old people bonbon. Before you know it, if the mama is not a wise, smart mama, she will start falling and falling and falling. She will not like be able to concentrate, you know. But as a smart, intelligent mom like us, oh, we know that we are educated. We want our kids to be educated. So when they are saying those kind of things, you will just laugh <laughs> because you know that those things they are referring it to their own kids, not our kids. So that is why it's good to avoid misleading friends. So I also, I also, um, we are going to give example. Also, some women also there are some women who like um. They come to visit their friend. Maybe their friend are uh, in the in apartment with them, their kids and their husband. And once they go out, oh, she will greet the husband, greet the kids. Oh, uh, everyone is fine. And then she's going out. She say, my friend has caught me. Once she step out the, out of the house, the next thing she'll be saying to her friend. So do you mean that you and your kids, your husband, you are just in this little apartment, you know? And she will say, oh, what do you mean? Don't you know that my husband uh, bought and built a very big mansion for me and my kids, you know? And then she will say, ah, but uh, my husband is trying, he's doing his best, you know? He said, please forget it. If your husband cannot build or buy a big mansion for you and your kids, so what are you using it for? There are a lot of men out there who buy, buy houses for their wives, who build big, big mansions for their wives. So what will you be doing with a man? And you'll be, you know, suffering yourself in so in, in, in with a man in a little apartment. And before you know it, she will advise her friend, please stop like from today. Stop like disturbing your husband that he must buy you a house, na na na, or he must build, build a house, a mansion for you and your kids. And if it's not ready, that you are going to live in there. A lot of men out there that she's going to give to you, that you are going to, you know, in a week, they can buy you a house. And she's not a smart mom. <laughs> She's not a wise mama. Before she before she knows, she start nagging. She start complaining. She start making problem with her husband. Any little thing, the only thing the husband will be hearing in the house, the only thing the kids are going to be hearing in the house is husband buy a house, husband build a house, husband buy a house, husband build a house. And when the man cannot anymore, before she knows it, she will be out of her marriage. And that one that told her, a friend that misled her, that told her that, don't worry, when you're out of your marriage, your husband only and uh, doesn't buy you a house or build a house for you and your kids, I will give you a man. That one, she will start counting when you're already a single mom, you're already, you're already divorced. She will start counting, you divorce already one year, you're under divorce two years, you're under divorce for three years, you're under divorce four years already, she will start counting it. Maybe the fifth year, she will start asking you, hey, my friend, hey, hey, are you still a single mom? Hey, I thought you've met uh, someone already. You know, she will forget that she was the one who told you that, you can leave your husband, she'll give you a man that will build your house in a week. So if you are not a smart mom and you are not a wise mom, you will fall for them before you know it. You will be out of your marriage and that same friend will be the one mocking you that you are a single mom, that you don't have husband. So nine goes, can couples, it says, uh, can couples forgive their partner when he or she finds out he or she hid his or her child from him or her that is true this we said it i think in 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 our in our marriage counseling i think in part one or in part two so this is very important there are a lot of marriages that not a lot but there are some marriages that some couples they prefer to hide their kids from their husband. It can be that when they were in the relationship or they, maybe their first child or their first um, outing, maybe the man said that uh, he don't want a woman with kids. So because this woman wants this man desperately, so she will, you know, lie to the man 
that she don't have kids and that is how they will fall into the marriage and before you know it after they've wedded the man will find out that this man this woman have kids so likewise also likewise also a, a, a woman's side it can be that a man have kids and he lied to his wife and when they get married the wife will find that that he have kids so that's why i say can couples forgive their partner when he or she finds out that he or she hits their child from them so to me it's going to be like a critical situation but if maybe the the partner is a partner that love kids like me i love kids even if you lie to me you have you have 10 kids you are a man you have 10 kids you lie to me you have five and when we get married you finally say to me that 10 i don't i'm not i'm, I'm, not, I'm not angry about that because i love kids kids are blessing my daughter is a, a wonderful joyful blessing to me good and long life for my daughter and me amen so i cannot lie because a man hid his kiss from me and then later i find out that he have maybe have 10 kids he told me have five kids and later i find out that he have 10 kids so i'm not going to like and i'm not going to and uh, divorce that man because why he lied to me of his kids you know so but there are some women who cannot bear it there are some women who, who will like you have 10 kids you were supposed to like say to her that you have 10 kids and you can't blame them because why it can be that they're already used to the five kids and our kids already you know so they're already like um, building the home already with it so they are going to be like it's going to be like they will feel like they are going to find it difficult for them to bring in another five kids, which the man didn't tell them from the beginning. So likewise, a man, when a man finds a woman deceived him into marriage and he finally finds the woman have kids or more kids, which she didn't say. So if it's a man that love kids, like I am a mom that love kids, so after all, it's just kids, maybe it doesn't matter. If she said it or if she, at the beginning or after the marriage, kids are kids, I will say accept them. No, but if it's a man that says no, maybe it's one of his um pol uh, policy in his uh, in a, in in a home or in a marriage in a relationship before saying I do is that I must know the number of the kids my woman to be we have. So if the kind of that man that said that, you'll be surprised that the man will say that is going for a divorce and is no more interested in that marriage that you like to him. So that is why I say, can couples forgive their partner when he or she finds out that their partner have kids? So to me, a mom who love kids, I can forgive. So every mom like me who love kids, they can forgive their husband when their husband let her tell them that they have kids. So every man who have who love kids, they can like forgive also their wife. But to men who like already like, uh, they already said that, before they get married, or woman who already said before they get married, they must know the number of kids their partner have. So it's going to be difficult for them to forgive their partner. So nine says, can couples who divorce find love again? This is another important one. This is still our marriage counseling class part three. It says, nine says, can couples, can, can couples who divorce finds love again? And I said, it depends on the couple if he or she finds more happiness in it so a new partner than a ex can couples who divorce finds love again so i said it depends on the couple if he or she finds more happiness in his or her new partner than a ex that is true for a couples can couples find love again so that is true of course when couples divorce they can actually find love again if only uh they find more happiness in their new partner than their heads that is when they can find love again easily uh, but if maybe an uh, every man that are coming their way it's like the men are even like worse than their heads so it's going to be difficult for them to find love again you know but if maybe the man that she find you know she finds happiness in that man even more than her ex then she's going to easily find love again after a divorce so nine ten says is it is it good for couple who just divorced to evolve themselves immediately in another relationship so this is another interesting one is it good for couples who just divorced to involve themselves immediately in another relationship i said to me i think it's too early to involve yourself in another relationship so i also went ahead if you are not 80 percent sure of your new partner because it is said the devil you know is better than the person who pretends he or she is good that is true to me is it good for a partner to involve themselves 
immediately after their divorce. To me, I think it is too early. And if you are like not sure 80% of this, your new partner, if you are not sure 80% out of 100 of this, your new partner, to me, I think it's very early for you to involve yourself in another marriage immediately after your divorce because it is said that the devil you know that your ex that you divorce you know it can even like it's even better than the than the person you know that pretends that he or she is good so i also went ahead and wrote i said again also with this and uh, uh, with this we are talking about i also went ahead and wrote i said in the other hand some couples just need a partner in their life for them to be able to forget their ex that is true Couples who like get um and who like involve themselves in another relationship immediately after their their divorce is because of why is because of why some couples just need a partner in their life for them to be able to forget their ex for them to be able to forget their ex wife for them to be able to forget their ex husband because of this they will involve themselves immediately after in, immediately in another relationship after their divorce so i also went ahead and wrote why some couples do it as a revenge to prove to prove their ex they got another another uh, partner immediately after their divorce in the other hand why some couples use this as a revenge when you see couples they get um they got into a relationship immediately after their divorce sometimes it's because that couple want to do it as a revenge to a partner, to her ex that, oh, after all, they just divorced in this month, the next month, she's already in another relationship, in the sense for the husband to know that she got another man, or uh, the man to know that, uh, the man, and uh, for the wife to know that he got another woman after a month after their divorce, or for the woman to know that her husband, ex husband, she got another man, you know, a month after their divorce. So it's like they want to do it as a revenge, you know, that they are divorced, but in the month that they are already in another relationship. So I also went ahead and wrote, Levin says, is it, is, is very important to be very careful when you, when you divorce before taking another partner so that, so that what led to your divorce will not repeat himself in your new relationship. That is true. My advice is that it's very it's very important as a single mom. So I know all those things. I know the reason why I am still a single mom. So that's why I give this as well. I say it's very important to be very careful when you when you divorce before taking another partner so that what led to your divorce will not repeat itself in your new relationship. That is true. It's just like what you know that led to your divorce. So when you are able to like figure, you know, all those things out, you know, you are going to be, when you have a new relationship, you is going to work perfectly. But when you are not able to tackle and figure out what led to your divorce, you are not like able to figure it out. You are not able to tackle it and you just like rush into another relationship. It's going to be like that thing that, and that, that thing that make you run away from your marriage, that thing is going to be repeating itself in your new relationship because why you didn't take your time to like figure it out to work on it so that those things will not repeat itself in your new also went ahead. 12 says, Can couples who divorce come together? Come together, come back together. This is another amazing one in our marriage counseling class part three. It says, Can couples who divorce come back together. I said to me, I think couples who divorce out of misunderstanding can still come back together again if they are ready to work on their misunderstanding. So beautiful people, hope you learned something from this video. Can couples come, can couples who divorce come back together again? To me, I think couples who divorce out of their misunderstanding can still come back together again if they are ready to work on their misunderstanding. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Faithful God Almighty, who guys protect and blesses my daughter and me this day and forevermore. Amen. With good health and long life, God Almighty has permanent for my daughter and me this day and forever. Amen. We continue to do the same for you and your kids. And please, if you learned something from this video, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and please 
press the notification bell so that anytime we upload videos, you will be the first to be noticed. And please, please, please do share this amazing video so that moms like me out there, women out there, ladies out there, men out there, bachelor smiths out there, they can also learn something from this video. And please do add your opinion, add your comment. What do you think about this amazing counseling, marriage counseling class part three? By his grace, we are going to be doing the continuation part four, part five. And if you have anything, you have any topic you want us to talk about in our marriage counseling class, please feel free by God's grace. We are going to be talking about it. God of my two guys and protect my daughter and me this day forevermore. Amen. With good health and long life for my daughter and me. We continue to do the same for you and your kids, my daughter and me. We appreciate your subscription. We appreciate your taking your time to view our video. We appreciate your sharing our video and we appreciate your loving comment. Enjoy your day. Remain blessed. Big up from my daughter and me to your kids. Enjoy your day. Remain blessed.